Hello everyone. My name is Evelyn Lindner. I'm the founding president of the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network and one of the initiators of the World Dignity University Initiative. I would very much like to share one topic of interest with you that I have in my work. It is the role of dignity and humiliation for world economy. I've been working on a paper on that topic since 2009. We had a conference in um, Honolulu, Hawaii, one of our annual conferences, and we had it in a business school. So this really uh, triggered, um, or gave me the courage to, to start writing this paper, which will turn into a book just these days. We will publish it in our newly founded uh, Dignity Press. I would very much like to uh, read to you uh, some, some sentences from uh, this book, this upcoming book, uh, to have you, you know, get a feeling for what, what I do. You know, I'm doing all my work together with, in, in dialogue, in conversation with a, our large network, particularly with uh, the director of, hum of our Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network, Linda Hartling. So, mm, I write in this book, Linda Hartling and I, since we are not economists, hesitate to analyze economic topics. On the other hand, we cannot avoid witnessing the humiliating effects of existing economic practices and institutions. Furthermore, since economic structures represent the largest frames within which human activities are played out, they are of utmost importance and cannot be overlooked. If the largest frames were to introduce systemic humiliation in the way apartheid did, this would be extremely significant. Under apartheid, since it was an all-encompassing system, all lives and relationships were tainted with humiliation. It was impossible to dignify apartheid by merely being kinder to each other or creating well-intentioned small-scale initiatives. The entire system had to be shaped anew at the appropriate large-scale level. What if today's apartheid is represented by the fact that exponential growth is incompatible with sustainability? This is our big question. I very much look forward to you having a look at the book that will come out soon. And, uh, you know, we are living in t exciting times. Uh, not long ago, the um, Arab Spring unfolded, and now the Occupy Wall Street movement un is unfolding. And um, it's not something that is only coming from one person or two persons. It's coming from many, many, many people from all around the world. And we, I, I would love to be part of this global movement and would lo love you to share this path and this journey that I have uh, been doing together with Linda Hartling and our network. I thank you very much.